All right, we're still here at the Stick Shift Nationals brought to you by Clemens Concrete and Greg Butcher Trucking. And I'm walking around the pits, looking at cars. Uh, this car really caught my eye here. This is an actual NHRA Super Stock car, Super Stock B, 1969 Camaro, driven by Brad Smith. And we're going to talk to Brad about it. Hi, Brad. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good, Bobby. Brad, Thank tell you. tell everybody where you come from. Um, uh, from Statesville, North Carolina. I grew up around Mike Heinz. Mike Heinz and my dad were best friends, and he took me under his wing to stop at my dad's service station and pick up the. Uh, picked me up there on Saturday mornings and took me to the shop and would uh, let me run the wire brush and the cooker to clean and next thing you know he got you doing everything huh? how old were you when he had uh, had you start uh, doing all that seven or eight years old oh man so you learned a lot at a young age are we allowed to ask how old you are right now 51 51 okay so you you've been around this a while Couple days. Can we look under the hood here? Yes, sir. Uh, Super Stock B. What kind of engine combination are you running here? It's 427, 430, 476 horsepower. Aluminum heads. Yes, sir. All right. You could actually do a ZL1 in this too, with the aluminum block and everything. Yeah. Because there's so many of the cars in this made, but this is what Mike chose, and we just put it back together for him and trying to run the car in his memory. Now tell us about Mike. I mean, you, you said he's the one that put you to work at a young age, who was your father's best friend, and this car is in his honor. I mean, this was his car, yeah, right? it's his car. So tell us how you acquired it. Uh, his, his wife and his daughter and son said, we were the, like, Mike would like to have, know for you to have the car and to run the car, because you've been around it for so long and been working on it for so many years with him. And she knew that I would, I would turn it over into a memory for his, you know, to honor him. So that's what we're doing. We're not uh, on the right track exactly that we want to be on right now, but we're getting there and I will not quit. Oh, I've had, uh, my trailer's been on fire on my way here this morning. I've had one hour of sleep and drove a dump truck all day yesterday and riding my motor home and here and the trailer catches on fire, I'm still here. Whatever it takes, that's what I'm gonna do. This it sport don't is all about perseverance, yes, let me sir. tell you. So yeah, I saw you guys messing with uh, ignition this morning, uh, making clutch adjustments throughout the afternoon. Yes, sir. So a dual uh, seven dual, inch disc. Eight, eight inch dual eight disc, disc ram. Okay, so a different setup than what the car normally had. Yeah, it had a uh, McLeod soft lock with a Jericho, and now we're in Liberty. It's what Mike had purchased to put with the car, and uh, he had uh, did one burnout with it, and a wrist pin pulled out of a piston, and he was in the process of putting the engine back together when he had passed away. And when he had passed away, his wife, uh, the car was sitting, and I said, let's get the car back together in his memory and see what it goes. Now we've done, I've done all my, my friends, Darian Houston, Jake Melton, uh, Jay Deal, my son Dylan Smith, everybody's right there at the shop all the time helping me. We, it, the, we've seen the sun come up, and we've seen it set, and we've seen it come right back up again. We're in the WIT group, it's just whatever it takes. And if that's what it is, if that's what it is. But we turned it back over. This was Mike's favorite paint scheme that he had hanging in his basement. And that's what we, uh, we decided to do. And then uh, the Heinz, Matt, and Philip is uh, purchased Heinz Brothers from where Steve had passed away. And he, uh, they said something to him about putting their name on the car. And I was like, well, if we're going to do that, we're going to, I would like to paint it back in the same Mike's favorite paint scheme. So that's what we did. Very cool. Now the car is spotless clean. And, uh, from what I've heard, the car wasn't always spotless clean on the inside. Oh, no, he said, clean. He said, Buzz, you, your car's too clean, it'll never run. <laughs> now, I do this because I, I was a, I, I'm still a neat freak and I like stuff polished and shine. It's so much easier to work on. And plus, this car deserves more than ever I could ever throw to it. So he deserves every bit of it. I know he fusses at me now, but I, it don't matter. I don't care. I don't, I don't care what he thinks. Well, in my opinion, it is a car show. Yeah, well, yeah. We are the car show and we. Right or the car show that goes down the track and comes back, and then we're the car show for the other hours that we're not going down the track. Yes, so um, uh, I always appreciate a nice, clean car. I like to keep mine as clean as possible. Yes, and, sir. You do. You I know, like catch the eye of uh, spectators walking by. But I do it, you know, just to, to honor him and his family. 
That's great. What kind of rear is in the car? Nine inch four. What kind of gear ratio? Uh, 567 is what's in it now. I have a 583. And uh, you see all this back here. His, son, his brother Steve had passed away too. And I wanted a sticker with their pictures on it. Now, which one's Mike and which one's Steve? This is Steve. This is Mike. Mike and Steve was the oldest. Mike died of cancer. Steve had a massive heart attack. And uh, after the surgeries and stuff, he had, had passed away from that. You know? uh, okay. It was about, I don't know, probably two or three, I think about three years. But, yeah. That's Mike's gloves in the back of the car. Oh man, that's awesome. We did some plumbing and fuel pumps and trying some batteries and just trying to get it as neat as neat as possible. Easy to work on. Right. And these are the, the yellow tops are more of a I guess they're uh -huh. the Optima deep cycle. Yeah, they they actually hold more reserve than the red. Red has more cold yeah, breaking amps. Red is the I, is the starter. Yeah. This battery. one here is the reserve. This for go rounds. That's I good. had some okay. 16 volts in it, but I just couldn't see spending six, you know, four or five hundred dollars a battery plus another five hundred or something for a charger. And I've no friends that have done tests back to back, and there's no results. There's more negatives to the 16 volts, in my opinion. I may be wrong, but that's just my opinion. I uh, I guess I started out with Optimas, and now I'm using the 16 volts. I. I didn't run 12 volt Optima long enough, but that 12 volt Optima was from 2009 and it's still working. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sneaky snake. <laughs> that was Mike's nickname because he'd get in the water box and he, McGurt, Dad, and then we called him Sneaky Snake. So that if anybody's wondering what Sneaky Snake means, that's that's what it was. Is <laughs> <laughs> it's all in memory of him. It's great. It's quite a tribute. Pray for us, we want to rerun a Chevy and a Hemi class. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brad, I know you had some struggles this weekend. We we're glad to see you come out here, and uh, we know that you're going to keep fighting it. Absolutely. You're not going to give up? Never. We don't give up, we're racers. No, that's exactly right. We may curse, we may throw tools, we may. I try not to do We that. may threaten to quit. That's right. <laughs> but we never do. We ain't going to do it. <laughs> well, good for you. We hope to see you at the next race. Where, do you, where are you going to go from here? I want to go to Dinwiddie. After I get this clutch situation, I want to go quarter mile. I love quarter mile. That's where I grew up around quarter mile. I, eighth mile is over way too quick. I mean, you're just pulling the stick and you're that's shutting it down. I, right. I like to ride. And then Whitty, and then hopefully Rockingham, and then if I can get some upgrading points next year to take it to Z Max for Mike, that's what I like to do. All right, that sounds good. Well, we wish you luck. Thank Thanks you. for joining us. Take care. Have a good one. Thank you.